Hello, beautiful Leo friends. Let's jump into this reading. I forgot to turn the camera on after I did the initial shuffle. So it's a beautiful reading, so I really just will go over the cards again for you so you can really see. This is so gorgeous. Look at this Garden of Venus. Rest and renewal is part of what you should do right now. Spirit is recommending that before you go on a very big adventure, then it looks like you need to get your balance, you need to get rested, and we have the reason as being the netcaster. Preparations are coming to fruition. So Leo, whatever you and your person have been working on in this relationship, it is happening. So when we look at the overall energy coming in, we see two people who have left the past in the past. You're both looking out the window. We have the two of wands here. You're at a crossroads. You're going to be making a decision about an adventure that may involve world travel. Uh, surfboards, uh, cute VW buses, but it speaks volumes to the fact that you are off on a very big adventure with someone with whom you were with for a period of time and you couldn't really take action that you wanted to take. And now we see the two of you in this beautiful love exchange, very sweet, innocent energy of trying to say, well, where are we going to go now? What are we going to do now? Juggling different ideas, juggling different options. But the two of you have decided to make decisions together. When we look at the energy of the Knight of Wands, excuse me, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands, two people who in the past had lots of passion, fire in your belly. You know, you really couldn't keep your hands off of each other. You couldn't help but communicate. But in the past, it was not a commitment like it is now. So when we get the energy of the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor as it's happening right now, we do get that there has been, there's been difficulties in the relationship. It looks like the two of you may have worked together and you fell madly in love look at that energy we have you know a creativity here and the love is flowing beautifully and the timing is yours leo right now you have this beautiful love relationship unfolding so the way the person that you love feels in terms of you they see you as this beautiful nine of pentacles single ready to mingle highly desirable and the Three of Swords, so when I'm looking at the Eight of Swords with the Three of Swords with the Knight of Wands, I feel as though this relationship was one that fell out, the, out of the boundaries, you know, um, that you met each other and you may have, either one of you or both of you, could have had an involvement with another person, although it does look like you were single, Leo, for sure. Uh, your person may or may not have been, but it does look like you have chosen each other. The lover's card, that is called the choice in the old time tarot. We see that your person wants a victory with you. They plan on having a victory. We see the king of cups, beautiful energy with the, the knight of pentacles, somebody that's moved very slowly. You may be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, and Leo, here you are. That's you in the reading. So your person is coming towards you with deep love, good intent, very slowly. Again, I do think that that Three of Swords represents some sort of it situation that you couldn't come together at an earlier time. And I'll just leave it at that. We see how they view you. They view you as a happy place. Leo, you, here you are in your reading. This is how your person sees you. They feel as though every moment that they're with you, it's like a day in the sunshine, a day at the beach, a day of passion, laughter, joy. And we see them really throwing caution to the winds. A princess of wands, fiery princess. So that person, your person, is just absolutely adores you. In their heart space, we have the Ace of Cups. Look at your joint feelings and mutual energy is the Ace of Cups. We have your person, have they have very clear 
desires and intentions for you, Leo. They will chase anybody else off the playing field who tries to compete with you. That King of Swords has got a big sword, a lot of clarity about how happy you make them. The Sun card appears again. There you are. Your person has been waiting for you to be able to come forward, to come forward in this relationship. And we get the Queen of Swords. They knew what they wanted. They waited. The Queen and King of Swords also speaks to your intellectual connection that the two of you have a very in-depth thought process about speaking together. The King and Queen of Swords would be great planners, people who could make good decisions, great business partners, but it gives so much clarity. You both adore each other. You both know what you want, and you are headed on this beautiful path of manifestation. How they view you and how they view the path forward. They've chosen you. You are their one. The three of wands. The ships have come into the harbor. You are that person. You are their person. They feel very dedicated to the relationship. They feel and they view it as both of you being very nurturing to one another. Again, when we have the we have the King of Cups here, and we have the Queen of Pentacles, people who know how to love very deeply and uh, nurture one another so your person sees that as a path forward for the two of you. When we look at the hidden energy, we see the two of you in hermit mode. So it looks again, there was a period of time which you could not come together. You know, a period of time in which there was restraint used and required but your person both of you look at the three of cups a card of celebration the card of being with your best friend the bridesmaids at the wedding the eight of coins both of you coming together and giving your best learning your way through the process of celebrating life together and it looks as though this is taking place after a period of time in which you were not able to really spend the time you wanted and desired with one another so spirit is recommending you keep your own counsel we see that both of you were in this energy of worry and spirit says look at you have a beautiful dove you are divinely protected stay wise stay calm and stay focused on what you need to make this relationship and to create what you want and then we have the magician card the very card of creativity so the two of you have invested the seven of coins we have the eight of coins over here we have the nine of coins up there but you two are manifesting each other you have done the balancing act you have invested in the relationship the nine of cups the happiest card in the deck the happiest and the sun card is happy. Well, both of those, those two cards are the happiest, most joyful in the deck. The nine of cups is eat, drink, be merry, enjoy every minute that we have together after a long time. You've known each other a period, a long period of time, and you never really got the chance to be together with that five of coins and the hermit card here that was hidden so the relationship was probably very discreet I don't think it was a public relationship but look at what you are manifesting you're manifesting and fulfilling your hopes and dreams for love at this time so Leo it was such a beautiful reading I could not resist just letting you have the reading as it popped out and I want to thank you so much for your time sending you love from Chicago send some back tell me where you're from tell me what you think of the reading and how it resonates thanks so much bye bye